What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy, Lucky Loco, having a nice old cup of wakalapi on this beautiful afternoon. So I'm out here hustling. I'm out here getting getting established. And anyways, um, just seen a couple videos, man. It's uh, a lot of dangerous stuff going on. And it's, uh, yeah. A lot of dangerous stuff going on, man. A lot of, um, you know, uh, I just seen Rascal's video about Boxer's video and watch Boxer's video. And it's entertaining, man. And there's a lot of danger. Like, that's why I've always asked in the chats, like, are you scared? You know, are you worried? Because, you know, these subjects and these people are nothing to play with, man. And, but anyways, I just want to talk on my point. It was, uh, like I said, it's entertaining for somebody that doesn't have to deal with that, that doesn't have to deal with the re repercussions. But then you also get scared for the content creator too, because I see a lot of people make stories about these people. And I don't know it's public information. And I remember before the internet that, you know, these topics weren't supposed to be discussed. Even from me when I was up in Canada, you know, I knew not to speak on such dangerous people, uh, motorcycle clubs, you know, uh, big time dealers, big time hustlers, big time hitters. Um, but now that social media is out, it's the game has totally changed, man. It's a, it's a, it's a crazy world, you know. When you grew up in the '80s, '90s, you didn't have to deal with any of that. The, <laughs> you start talking smack about somebody it would spread like wildfire quicker than a notification and the next thing you know that person's at your door or looking for you so i just remember them days um kind of getting off topic but yeah it's a it's a dangerous game to be in and to talk about man and prayers to the dude that uh that dino dude and whatever else is going to happen over that video and Man, like I said, like when I see the content creators talk about these subjects, it just, it, it gets, I get nervous for them. Like, man, and my anxiety goes up and I'm just like, man, dude, you're, you know, playing tag with Satan. It's, uh, you know, people can say, oh, I'm not worried, but yeah, I, I would be, you know, that's why I just stick with my people, my culture, and what I do for a living. Um, even as a petty, small time, uh, criminal i didn't get to that level of status that these gentlemen and these people even the other people that do uh, the content creators you know because they're the mecca of the of the whole california movement and being outside in colorado being out of state you know and when they come over here to colorado you're the out of staters you know this is our territory this is our business this is our get down and I noticed that too like a lot of the prison systems like Colorado is nothing like the California prison just from the stories I hear I can tell and for that I'm forever grateful for that because with the backstabbing and, and all this other crazy stories of people hypocrisy and you know people get to do their time and they get to, to hang out and, and live not worried about their own homeboys whacking them out and you know slashing them in the face it, I mean it does happen don't get me wrong but it's there's a really big purpose behind somebody getting clipped out there and it rarely ever happens but when it does it makes a lot of makes a lot of noise but you know there's not a stronghold to where I mean you could get word out to the streets and stuff like that but there's no sending filters and you know it's you know you definitely have to have like you know you have to have your paperwork or somebody has to know you because you know Colorado especially in that system somebody's gonna know somebody so somebody's gonna vouch for him like yeah, I know homeboy he's cool or people are gonna be like man I seen him in county jail checked in you know if you couldn't even make it in county because Pueblo County was worse than it was worse than the prison yards I went to, because I was a, you know, I can't really say that, but 
It, I mean, it's still a pretty dangerous place. I knew. You know how to talk and walk in there. You definitely get you stuff split if you say the wrong thing politic with the wrong people um but uh yeah that just it's kind of i'm kind of all over the place with this but just having my coffee waking up got the fried bread uh the oil going gonna get the fried bread mixed up gonna gonna start start hustling and get out there man uh, well here this beautiful place but that's why I, I really don't care for clout I'm not doing this for views and not just speaking my mind man you know what I mean I don't care about <laughs> things like that so yeah I might as well bring it up now that I'm talking about it there's uh, there was a really big point where I really wanted your respect I really wanted your I really wanted you to pay attention to me and I was going to start lying. I was. I was going to start lying. I was going to start. Um, pulling what the other person did. But thank God I didn't. Because there's other people that. in the in, On the YouTube world. That were in the same prison as me. And like I said. It's a small world. And. And you know. Because there's gangish. There's Ma Hustler. There's the. There's a Timmy, there's Strange, uh, you know, the Colorado car, man, that's what we are, we're a Colorado crew, and um, I was really going to do it, I was, I was thinking about it, I was like, I wasn't going to go on somebody else's live and do it, but I was like going to start saying stories and all this other stuff, but there's, I was going to put some salsa or tapatia on this story, but thank god i didn't um because i really wanted that views i really wanted that respect but i was like you know what just keep it 100 and people don't like you then uh, that's on them i'm not gonna give you a reason to dislike me or make up a bunch of fabricated stories that was just a quick thought i remember i was going to make up a bunch of stuff but like I said, I'm really glad I didn't. I would have been clowned on. I would have had videos made of me. No, I'm not that big of a person. But, you know, it's better just to tell the... Just be you. Uh, or the people that respect me, that like me, are here. And this is what matters. So, definitely appreciate you, man. Just wanted to get my little two cents. And I'll have my coffee. All right. Remember, comment, let me know what you think about the videos, too. Like, share. Let's get this channel going. I'm at 670 or 80, I think. All right, peace.